it hasn't been a good day. I've been trying to come to terms with something that has been happening in the last week. A little more frequent than I care to admit, but I've been self-sabotaging. I have been one of the lucky few whose stomach doesn't adversely react to certain foods. So give me anything small enough, I can chew it up and swallow it, no issues. My biggest issue right now is that I don't know how to stop. Now, in my last video, I talked about overeating. And I'm not necessarily doing that right now. Um, I've just been eating to the point where I am uncomfortably full. And then throwing it up. Um, I remember the first time that happened, um, it had to be when I was finally allowed like soups and stuff. Um, I'm really good about measuring food, but one day I just, I didn't want to move everything out of the way to get to the food scale. So I just made a bowl of soup and I ate it all and I started to feel the point where I got full and then I got so full that I ran to the bathroom and I was probably in the bathroom for like an hour. But lately, since I'm, you know, I've been graduated to soft foods, um, I'll eat till I get to that point and I'll stop and then I'll go, a couple more bites won't kill me. And I'm not even hungry. Um, and I'll do that. And then I'll get sick. But there are some days where I don't get sick. And I'll make myself get sick. Now, I've read about it. I know that it is possible to be to be bulimic after weight loss surgery. And I don't know if that's what this is. I just know I wanted to stop and I don't... I don't really know what to do. I don't... I don't want all of this to be for nothing, but it's really hard. Uh, <laughs> ending my relationship with food. It's really, really hard. And I don't think a lot of people understand that. You're just like, it's food, move on. But it's not, it's not like that for me. I would eat. When I was happy, I would eat if I got in an argument with my fiance, I food was like my best friend. It didn't judge me, it didn't say you should have left him, it didn't tell me I was wrong, it just comforted me. It felt like a warm hug, a warm understanding hug. And I can't do that now. I get angry and I gotta go eat two spoonfuls of unsweetened applesauce and it pisses me off. And some days I regret getting this surgery. Even, you know, my outward appearance, my my inner appearance, 
I still just think that I made a mistake. And it scares me now because I'm doing it every day and I just go on with my life. Half an hour before this video, I ate some food and then I threw it all up and I made a cup of coffee. It didn't hurt, there was no reaction, I just moved on. And I'm really scared. I don't I don't see my surgeon again for another two months. And I'm thinking that maybe I should call a therapist or a nutritionist or I don't know who to talk to. I probably shouldn't be making this video. I should probably be Figuring out what to do, but I don't know what to do. It makes me feel a little better talking to you guys. <laughs> because maybe somebody out there understands. And I know I have I have support, but I don't have anyone like here who's dealing with this. So I feel really alone. I haven't been to support groups in two weeks. And I'm so scared that I'm doing so bad. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I'm not an expert at all. I don't post these videos to tell you guys the right way or the wrong way to do anything. I just, when I was researching for this process, there wasn't anybody who posted what it was really like. And I said I would do the same for me. Um, I'm almost seven weeks post-op or six weeks. Sorry, I'm six weeks post-op and I feel like a failure. I wish I had one of those stomachs that reacted to make me stop because I can't, I can't make myself stop. I don't know how. So, um. Yeah. I'm going to I'm going to go see my therapist tomorrow. I'm going to start going back to support. Cuz I'm scared. I don't want to end up in the hospital. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do.